What's going on guys? It is Jamie and welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire. Today I'm going to be doing a what sold video. This one's going to be a little bit different just because all these things sold while I was on vacation. Uh, eBay was in vacation mode. I, I'll explain what I did with Poshmark and um, Etsy, but let's get into it. First of all, like I said before, my vacation hold on eBay was a little longer than seven days because I generally ship uh, on Mondays and sometimes I'll go ship again on Thursdays depending on sales and where things are going. There's a lot of factors involved. But essentially, I knew I wasn't going to be able to ship uh, Monday. So on Thursday, when I was done shipping at Stallion Express, I had to put all my things on vacation mode and I didn't actually leave until Saturday. So I had a couple days left where I just had my eBay stuff on vacation mode. Uh, I left my Poshmark active, uh, so I left my Poshmark active basically right up until we left for vacation. Um, that just because the shipping for that is regular Canada Post, and I didn't have to do anything. And we were going across into the U.S. and I made a few U.S. sales, um, Poshmark U.S. as well, and I just actually took them with me across the border and just shipped them directly in the U.S. with U.S. postage. So that worked out really good. Now, when I was away, I did make a few sales on eBay, and there are going to be a couple of Etsy and Poshmark sales as well, because what I did with those platforms, as my vacation was coming to an end, I got home on the Saturday, but on the Thursday prior, I turned my, uh, my vacation mode off on all of my stores, including Poshmark and Etsy, and uh, yeah, so I was able to get a few extra sales even while I was away, um, you know, because I could obviously ship them Monday when I got home. So let's get into the sales. I do have a few good ones. Uh, I'm gonna share with you about 10. I probably had maybe, I'm gonna say, maybe 25 or 30 total, but I'm gonna share some of the better ones with you right now. Now, I really do sell quite a few Crocs, and it's all about price point. So for these particular Crocs, I think I picked them up at the Goodwill bins, probably paid 50 cents to a dollar. It is by weight. I've never really, you know, figured out what you pay per shoe, but these are definitely very, very lightweight shoes. So I probably paid, let's just say a dollar for these shoes. Um, and they are just a pair of Crocs. Uh, they are like the Mary Jane style women's size seven, not even really the best size ever. But what I decided to do before I went on vacation, because summer is basically just around the corner and people, you know, in spring do like to wear shoes like this, open shoes, flip flops, you know, whatever, this type of shoe. Um, I tried to clean everything I had like that, all my Crocs, all my sandals, all my flip flops, anything like that and get them listed. So I probably listed, um, I'm gonna say maybe uh, 20 pairs over the last couple weeks of just shoes like this, you know, and it's definitely paying off because these ones sold right away for full price, $30 plus shipping. And like I said, buy cost on these, super low. So for me, this is a really good flip. Next up was an Etsy sale. So I had my Etsy store on vacation mode, which means you cannot make any sales. And then I believe on Thursday morning, I just turned it back on thinking, you know, if anything sold, Thursday, Friday, it still gives me till Monday to ship, but I think I have three day handling and the weekends don't really count for handling time. So it worked out pretty good. So when I did get home, I think Saturday, I wound up packaging this out or packaging it up and getting it shipped with a label. So, you know, I didn't drop it off until Monday, obviously, but uh, you know, at least there was tracking and the person could see that I was actively trying to get this out to them. Uh, this was a Toshiba VCR. I can't remember exactly even where I picked this one up. Um, but normally for these type of units like this, they're like, you know, I'm going to say eight to $13. So I didn't pay a lot for it. This one was listed reasonably not that long ago. Like I do remember listing this one. I just can't remember exactly where I got it from. Um, but yeah, pretty good sale. VCRs still do sell really well for me. Uh, I'm going to maybe try to steer away from some of the, um, so the, the VCR DVD combos, excellent uh the vcr dvd combos that record can be worth a lot of money i recently had one that i shipped out that i thought i tested properly and thought it worked good uh but the person said it didn't work and they said they had a similar model and they kind of explained to me in a way that i felt like they were being honest so i, I actually had to wind up refunding them that and you know that that does stink a little bit it does suck a little bit but you know you, you gotta you know roll with the punches and sometimes you gotta take an l but this I believe it's a pretty good win. Like I said, I don't think I paid much for this VCR and it did sell pretty quick for $65 plus shipping. Next up, a Poshmark US sale. So this is $33 US. 
Uh, if you probably break down the fees and stuff, I'm probably making something like $28. I'm just kind of guessing uh, based off of how fees work on Poshmark. It's probably about $20, $28 American on these. I think maybe I picked these up at the Goodwill bins. I don't remember exactly. I have been picking up a lot of inventory lately, so it is hard to keep track of where it's all coming from. But this was a really good sale. These are just a pair of Nike SPs. You know, they're nothing fancy. You know, worst case scenario, if I didn't pick them at the bins, I probably wouldn't have paid more than like probably six to eight dollars for these anyway and that you know that's pretty good so flipping that into like twenty eight dollars thirty three dollars us or you know minus fees probably around twenty eight dollars um pretty good really uh what is that let's just do a little breakdown just for fun so thirty three dollars us winds up being forty four dollars and forty eight cents and i definitely can feel the pain there because the majority of our trip that we just came back on was from we were in the us we went to uh new york for a couple days to Times Square, traveled around. You follow me on Instagram and you've seen some of that, some of that and you enjoyed it, great. Uh, you know, maybe not the most popular thing to post some of my personal stuff on my Instagram, but I, I do like to share that with you guys too. You know, if you like it, let me know. If, if you don't like it, you can let me know as well. You know, I wouldn't be offended either way. Um, but yeah, really, a really good time. We went to New York City for a couple days. We stayed in New Jersey and kind of traveled into New York City with, you know, Uber and stuff like that. Uh, had a really, really great time. And then we traveled back to, I think, Buffalo, um, Buffalo, New York, and did a, a concert and a, a Bison's game there. It was really fun. We had a great time. Um, and then we drove back into Toronto for another baseball game and another concert. It was a really, really great time with my wife, uh, you know, going full time here with eBay and reselling and, you know, probably going to put some more time into YouTube, probably less time for vacation. I've had a really good job for a really long time. I get five weeks paid holidays. Obviously, when you're going into uh, full-time reselling, nobody's going to pay you for holidays. You're going to have to set some money aside. So maybe our vacations will slow down. So we tried to have a really nice one here to kind of blow out the end of my uh, full-time employment. And uh, yeah, so just thought I'd share that with you guys. Let's get to the next sale. So this next one came from Mission Thrift. It was a 50% off day. The hat was only originally $2, so I paid $1 for it. Uh, but hats like this, these Nike kind of dry fit running hats, this one's kind of like an obnoxious neon color. Obviously meant, you know, if you're out there running, somebody is very visible. Uh, paid $1, turned this into $18 plus shipping. These type of hats definitely sell pretty good for me. I like to sell hats because they're lightweight, cheap to ship. You can normally pick them up. You know, I stopped picking them up at Goodwill for the most part, unless they're on 50% off day or something like that, because they're starting to ask like, you know, three, four, five dollars for hats, depending on what it is. But like a lot of other thrift stores are like a dollar or two dollars. Lots of times you can pick them at the Goodwill bins if they're not too dirty. They're really easy to, you know, clean up and flip from there too. Or yard sales, a lot of times people want like 50 cents for hats. So if you can find hats like this, definitely pick them up. If they look like cool hats or vintage hats, kind of try to look up comps. But, you know, the, this type of fitness or running hat or dry fit hat will sell almost all the time on eBay. Next up, this was another sort of retail arbitrage thing I did with a local shoe company. It's a discount shoe company in my area called, uh, it used to be Al Shoes. Now maybe it's Factory Shoes or something like that. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it, it's basically like a discount shoe store. Uh, they had all these Disney shoes. I wound up picking up a pair of uh, Mickey ones for myself. Uh, mini ones for my wife and I thought hey why don't I pick up some more and maybe I can make ours free well I've definitely sold enough of these to make uh, you know the ones I purchased for myself free and my wife free I think I paid I'm thinking like $30 a pair plus tax something like that so these sold for $63 uh, I've definitely sold a couple pairs on eBay a couple more I think in total maybe I bought like like I bought like a thousand dollars worth of these things I don't remember exactly how many it was but i only have a few pairs left and i've definitely made okay money not crazy money it's not like going to the thrift store and picking them up for six to ten dollars and you know flipping them for 60. i certainly paid up for these so you're not making the same type of um, return on your investment but for me it's still worth it you just have to put out more money and wait for it to come back so if you're kind of okay with those type of investments definitely check out you know some places to do retail arbitrage retail arbitrage whether it be a store like this one which is a discount shoe store you can check out like 
winners, places like that, maybe Marshalls, you know, some place where they have new, brand new with tag stuff that is discounted that maybe, you know, you can pick up and flip. I've definitely picked up jerseys and stuff at my local winners and done pretty good with them. Not fantastic, but pretty good. And then I think recently I showed you a pair of Hoka's that I picked up also that was retail arbitrage that I did pretty good on. Like I said, you do have to put out more money than the average thrift store, but new with tag stuff does sell for more money, obviously. Next up, a pair of Keens. And like I said before, these ones, not these ones in particular, I did list a lot of sandals and flip-flops and just sort of summer type shoes. Now these ones are pretty big size, 13 or size 14 actually, uh, Keens. And when I first got them, I thought maybe somebody like drywalled in these because they have like these white whatever little spots all over them. And then after I actually looked up uh, you know, sold comps of these and whatnot. I, it's, they're supposed, it's supposed to be on there. So I felt a lot better. I thought at first, oh, I'm gonna have to scrub and see if I can make these clean enough or maybe somebody would be okay with buying them with, you know, a little speckles and stuff on them. Either way, Keens are excellent shoes. So I thought I'd pick up these sandals. I did pick them up at the Goodwill bins. So I didn't pay much for them. Again, probably no, not much more than a dollar or two. These ones are a little bit heavier than the, um, than the Crocs, but they're still, you know, pretty lightweight. Uh, I think, I believe if I click back once, it will show us the breakdown of the sale here. So I accepted a best offer, I think, of $35. You know, you can see with the shipping, I charge $9 for, um, which typically means for shoes that these went to the US. Looks like fees were about $6.50. So on total, you know, total with the shipping and everything, obviously $44. After that, my earnings would have been $37. 90, 37.93 by the looks of it. And you know, there's taxes on that. Obviously you have to pay income tax on that. Uh, luckily now in Canada, eBay does collect HST and submit it for you. Not everybody's a fan of that. Me personally, it's just one less thing I have to worry about. Uh, you should be going back at the end of the year to make sure that all the numbers they collected is correct. But I do believe technically the way that it is done, they are supposed to be on the hook for that part of the reselling business these days. So kind of nice in a way because we're all forced to do it anyway and at least this way eBay's paying it and you're not going to get a huge HST bill at the end of the year. All right next up this was a return I got so I got this from uh, I've talked a few times about picking this this stuff up in Niagara Falls Ontario at this discount sporting store and I, I think I probably probably paid like 20 bucks for this jersey it is an Ethan Ethan Bear jersey I don't think he plays with Oilers, Oilers anymore the Oilers were just unlimited eliminated uh, from the playoffs as well. So I just shipped this out Monday and they had already been eliminated. So I was kind of worried that the person might cancel. It was always sh already shipped out sort of on paper because it had tracking and everything when I got back, but I thought maybe the person wouldn't want it. And I'm still a little bit concerned that when he gets it, he might have a little bit of regret because they're not in the playoffs anymore, but it's still a really nice jersey. I did ship this one out once before and it didn't fit somebody and they had to ship it back. Uh, that worked out okay because, you know, I got it back and I believe in that case the buyer actually paid to ship it back to me. So that was all good and uh, you know I got it back and resold it again. So I did take a best offer on this. I believe I took a best offer of like $90. No, sorry, $85. But like I said, I paid 20 bucks for this. It is brand new with tags. Uh, but this particular one, I had to reattach the tags on there because the person that I originally shipped it to, they didn't throw away the tags or anything, but they broke the little seal. So I just got some like, um, uh, like thread or like it's like a thick like a uh, tweed wrapped it through and put the tags back on and it looks totally fine and it's normal i didn't disclose that in the description but i don't think it is that big of a deal it is still new tags or new other um and it is a really nice jersey it is brand new so this one sold like i said for 85 dollars. i paid roughly 20 dollars for it sold it twice uh hopefully this one sticks and this is you know the new home for this jersey Next up, I took a best offer, I believe, of around $40 for these, uh, is it Manifesto? Is that how you pronounce that? These are some pretty high-end shoes. I think brand new, these type of shoes are like $150, $200. They're fairly expensive. I'm not particularly a shoe that I would enjoy to wear myself, but they are a very popular shoe for, you know, people who like that sort of dressed up look. But they still, I find that with this brand, they, they are a dressed up leather look, but they still kind of have a little bit of a, a nicer fashion. They don't look like your typical, you know, snooty businessman type shoe, but I think these are very nice shoes. Um, I think I picked these up at the Goodwill bins as well, cleaned them up. I basically just wiped them off and took uh, leather, 
uh, leather conditioner with a rag and, and wiped it in and they looked beautiful. They looked like brand new again. Prior to this, it kind of looked a little dusty um, and just maybe like a, not worn, but just like they had been worn. And when, when I clean these things up, they bounce back to life. And you know, that's pretty awesome because you know, shoes like this, you know, the, the tread's great on the bottom. As you can see right now, they were maybe a little dull and I could just liven them back up with just some, you know, just some basically shoe cleaner and a little bit of um, conditioner, like a polished conditioner that you just rub in. And they look great. Uh, very happy with this sale. I didn't have, didn't have these ones listed for a very, very long time. You can see inside there, that it shows the age a little bit more than the outside of shoe. It's a little bit warm, but overall, these shoes are in fantastic shape. All right, so I picked up this book bag at the Goodwill bins. So I probably paid, once again, it's by weight. So I probably paid maybe a dollar, maybe a less than a dollar. This is a very, very light weight. It did ship out super cheap. I think it only cost me about, it went to the US, I believe, and it only cost me about six, six to eight dollars to ship out. It wasn't a bigger bag. I sort of folded it over, put it in a poly bag, and it was very lightweight still. Um, bags like this, I believe, with people doing summer vacations, uh, and then, in the summer, you'll be gearing up for back to school. So if you do find bags like this for cheap, definitely pick them up. This one was in very, very, very good used condition. I would have said it was almost new without tags, but I did list it as used. You can see it says pre-owned right here. And I got $22 plus shipping for it. I don't pick up a ton of backpacks. Uh, this Jansport is one that I do. If, if it's a cool print, I will pick them up because they always do seem to sell. There's like a good amount of people who really do like this brand. I have made the mistake before of picking something up like this um, and listing it. There's two different kinds. So there's this one, which is just your regular kind of backpack. And then there's another one that has like an insert for like a laptop. I did sell this one, something similar like this once to a university student who thought they were getting a laptop bag and it was my fault. So when you are listing this and you're like using somebody else's listing, just make sure it's a regular travel bag or, you know, a classic bag and you don't accidentally put in that it, it is a laptop, ba laptop bag or something like that. But this one sold, it was absolutely fine. I said, really, really nice, clean condition, and it did sell for $22 plus shipping. Now last up, this was the first thing that I sold on vacation. It was almost the first day that I put my store on vacation mode, and I did get a message from this person about three days later saying, hey, uh, just when you plan on shipping this out, I messaged them back and said, like, I don't know if you can see on your end, but if you click on uh, the transaction or my profile, the handling's been moved to like, a long time like almost 10 days and in that case i usually say to people if you don't want it i could cancel the order i do understand uh, and this person said oh no I, i'm not in a hurry i was just curious when it was gonna be shipped out just so i could follow along so it was no big deal this guy was totally patient when i got home this was the first thing that i found and shipped uh as you can see i took a best offer it was for 33 dollars um plus shipping and these are just a nice pair of van slip-on shoes i picked these up at goodwill for about eight bucks so i'm not making a fortune off of these but these type of shoes for me when i pick them up and find them and they're in this nice a condition always sell really quickly uh, i could have probably got full price for them but you know just started my just started my vacation mode somebody made me a reasonable offer and i accepted it uh you do have to be a little bit careful i think on vacation mode um if people have already sent you offers and you accept them prior to turning a vacation mode your handling time is reflected by the original handling time. So if you're gonna send offers and do those sort of things you have when you're on vacation mode, make sure you're already on vacation mode um, and you're only accepting new offers, not ones that were made prior to turning vacation mode on because there is an issue there with you know handling time. So I do think that is really cool that you can sell on eBay while you're on vacation. You know, there are some stipulations and you know, people, if they don't understand what's going on, will might ask to cancel orders. I actually didn't have anybody ask to cancel because I was on vacation. I had a couple sales where people couldn't process payment for one reason or another, or maybe they changed their mind, or maybe they had seen that it wasn't gonna be shipped out for a good amount of time and thought, oh, maybe I don't wanna pay for this. But regardless, for the most part, I did make quite a few sales, like I said, probably, 25 to 35 items. I didn't really count them out. I just kind of cherry picked a few that I thought were pretty decent items, especially seasonal, good seasonal items for the times right now. Uh, like I said, on Poshmark, when you put Poshmark into vacation mode, sales all stop. So I waited till the day that I actually left for a vacation and turned it on before I was home. So I had the opportunity to sell a few things before I even got home. And I did on both Poshmark Canada and Poshmark US. Uh, vinted the same way. I think I had one vinted sale when I turned my stores back on, but when I left, 
I had to turn Vincent off, so you can't make any sales on Vincent either when you are on vacation mode. Um, and I think I sold a pair of shoes, I think a pair of golf, golf cleats or something like that. Pretty decent ones, actually. Uh, and then Etsy, same thing. When you put vacation mode on Etsy, it, there are no sales and you turn it back on. So when I turned it back on, I definitely tried to get a few things listed that I thought would maybe you know, get me back up in search and help things out. And yeah, right away within, you know, a day or two, I sold the VCR on Etsy. So, you know, now I'm just back in the swing of things. I've already, when we got home, uh, we came home on PAX. I think we got home at like 2 a.m. on PAX. Uh, got up in the morning, a little bit later, about 10 o'clock in the morning. Decided to hit some yard sales before we really kind of got back into the swing of regular life at home. So me and my wife went to some yard sale Saturday morning. I found some cool stuff. I didn't record anything. I just kind of wanted to like enjoy the end of vacation. So that was really neat uh, that we could get out together and get go yard sailing because we don't get to do that very often. She works a job where she has to work weekends quite often. So our time together is usually, you know, evenings and then she's off Mondays and we do make time to hang out, but it's generally not on the weekend in mornings and stuff. So she can't come yard sailing with me a ton. Uh, yeah, and then got home, got all my shipping done, and we're getting back into the swing of things. I've already been up to the Goodwill bins. Uh, I've been thr I went thrifting yesterday with my wife as well. This week I'm gearing up to hopefully, if the weather's good, I'm going to start recording some yard sale videos and get them posted on the channel. Uh, yeah, so really, guys, if you do like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. I didn't really plan on recording a video up in until next week, so I thought maybe this what what sold might be just kind of interesting just kind of for a new video just so there wasn't like such a big gap in content and if you do appreciate that like i said please give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing for more content until next time take care stay safe we'll see you soon Bye bye